Hey, everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Apple appears to be back in the business of producing lower-cost iPhones and its Say family. Just a month after analysts believed Apple had abandoned work on the Say 4, noted Apple analyst Ming Chiqua tweeted on Monday that Apple is resuming production of the iPhone Say 4, after scrapping plans to release a new phone in its line of lower-end handsets. This new lower-end and somewhat cheaper phone is expected to be ready in 2024. The iPhone Say 3 is Apple's smallest iPhone. Housed in the body of an iPhone 8 with thick bezels touch ID in the home button and a 4-7-inch display, the iPhone Say could really do with a bit of modernization to bring the device up to date with the rest of Apple's lineup of iPhones. John Prosser, a well-regarded iPhone leaker, had reported that the next iPhone Say could follow the trend of using older components and this time, look eerily similar to the iPhone XR from 2018. If this was to be the case, then the iPhone Say 4 would get a full-screen makeover alongside a 6-1-inch display. However, they indicate a completely different design approach that would represent a minor modification of Apple's current best iPhone, the iPhone 14, rather than the previously reported XR. For the more hopeful in us, the end of the iPhone mini line could have been a great reason for Apple to use the iPhone mini design as an iPhone Say 4, making the device fit the needs of those that want a smaller phone as well as those looking for a budget option. There are multiple rumors circulating around the size of the device, with Qua believing that the iPhone Say 4 will be 6-1 inches similar to the iPhone 14. The iPhone 14 has an OLED display with 1200 nits of max brightness alongside HDR and a P3 wide color gamut. If the Say 4 were to include this display, it would be a vast improvement over the current model, bringing the device in line with 2023 smartphones. If Apple goes the route of an iPhone 14 Lite, then Olay technology is more than likely to appear in the Say lineup. As the current iPhone Say is the only iPhone still on sale with an LCD display, it will be interesting to see if Apple chooses to go with a lower price point by ignoring the option of Olay altogether. Another analyst, Ross Young however, has stated that both 5.7-inch and 6.1-inch displays are currently being assessed as options for the new Say with reports that the iPhone 15 lineup will introduce the dynamic island across all devices. The notches seen in the iPhone 14 models could be a great way for Apple to differentiate between and say and its flagship devices. If Apple was to go down the route of introducing the notch to the say in order to keep the device looking different to the iPhone 15's dynamic island, then we're likely to see Faceid introduced to the say 4. Adding Face ID would be a huge selling point for the budget iPhone, especially with the cost of competitors like the Google Pixel 7 slowly but surely getting closer to the entry-level iPhones. Although Apple could introduce Touch ID in the power button as it has for the iPad Mini 6, the iPhone Say 3 was released in 2022 and at the time was given the same a 15 chip as the iPhone 13. Share your thoughts and comments below. I hope you found our content interesting and if you did, please like and hit the subscribe button see you in the next video.